guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. I did film this colorful look and this is, this is one of my favorite looks because, simply because I am using the Be Perfect Carnival Palette by makeup artist Stacey Marie. She is so bomb, guys. Like. I'm pretty sure if you're on Instagram and you do love makeup, you've heard of Stacey Marie. She is a UK artist. She is so dope. Her looks are always so colorful, super blown out, super, super pigmented, very saturated with color. So I had to buy this palette. This palette was 39 pounds. I think that's what they call it in the UK is a pound. Um, it is about 65 US dollars, I believe. And that's a little bit steep for a makeup palette. So yeah, let's get into this palette. First of all, it is a very, very sturdy palette. It's, it's a bit thick. It's a bit on the uh, thicker side, which I don't mind. It is super sturdy super thick, it, I said super thick, <laughs> super thick, it has quite a bit of weight to it. I feel like if I drop it, it won't break, which is really good. Um, it did come in a box and it was bubble wrap. The box was labeled fragile, which I did like. The colors right here on the back, you do get two highlighter colors and then you have um, 17 matte shades and you get seven shimmers as well. So, the colors do translate in the palette, meaning what I mean by that is when you open it and flip it around, you will get the exact name of the color that you're looking for. And also the um, names of the shadows are in the palette as well. So I'm gonna stop talking, let's open this bad boy up. Yes, she is so gorgeous. This is what the palette looks like. It has a very, very big, large mirror inside of it, which I feel was a good addition, especially um, for this price point. Here are all the shades in the palette. Super, super pretty, you guys. Very, very beautiful. I, I use this palette today, and it looks like I didn't even use it because you don't need a lot of color. You do not need a lot on your brush. The colors are not powdery. They are super pigmented. I cannot stress enough how pigmented these um, shadows are. The only thing I didn't use in the palette were the highlighters, just because I wanted to try a new highlighter out today. So um, yeah, you guys, I did use Mood, which is this blue. I used Mint and I used Keen from this palette today. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, honey, because I'm coming at you with these colorful looks. Now that I have this palette, I will not be putting this down. I swear I am not putting this down. You guys, you can get glam from this palette. You can get colors, you can get shimmer, you can get glow, you can get everything in this one palette. I am in love. I am living for this palette. As soon as she uh, said that she was coming out with that eyeshadow palette, I signed up for um, email notifications so that I would be notified when the palette is released. And when the palette released, best believe I had to buy it, okay? So if you wanna see how I got this look right here, using the Stacey Marie palette, please keep on watching. All right, you guys, I'm so happy I got my palette finally. So let's jump right into this tutorial. I'm gonna take this deep blue shade and I am going to take that on a fluffy but dense brush and I'm gonna pack that right directly into my crease making sure to get this color as pigmented as possible because I want, I just want it to be very pigmented. I want this color to sh really show up and really show through and show out, honey. <laughs> so pack this color on into the crease. And after you're done packing this color on, we're gonna blend out the edges of this deep blue shade. So I'm just pressing that shadow on. And make sure to get into the inner corner. Don't be afraid to get into the inner corner. This shadow is super, super pigmented. I know I keep saying that, but like it really, really is. 
So I'm just blending out the edges as you can see here, just taking my time, slowly blending around the edges of the blue shade. Now I'm gonna go into this mint green color and I'm gonna press that along the edges of the blue shade. And right now I am so floored, like I am so excited because the shadows are so creamy, so pigmented. Honestly, I would say they're comparable to Juvia's Place, but even more pigmented than Juvia's Place eyeshadows. Like they're so, so good. So I'm pressing that along the edges of the blue with a Coastal Sense Pro Blending Firm Brush. And this is a dupe for the MAC 217 brush. And now I'm just gonna go in with that same brush and blend around those edges to make sure that it's nice and smooth and the look looks, the look is seamless. The look looks seamless. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going in with the yellow and I'm pressing that along the edges of the green. And this yellow, you guys won't see it so much in the video, but it does show through in pictures. So I'm just pressing that along the edges of the green and um, blending it out almost as in the same motion. So as I'm pressing it, I'm also blending it at the same time. So I don't really have to go back and blend this yellow too much. So yeah. I'm blending it and will win shield or white promotions <laughs> can't talk obviously but you guys get the gist you can just see what I'm doing here just making sure that yellow is nice and pigmented and it's evenly distributed so as of lately I've been mixing these two concealers the um, pro girl the LA pro girl um, concealer and fawn and the other shade is medium beige and I'm using that to um, those two colors to cut my crease because it gave me a really nice color almost as if it was a P. Louise base and I haven't ordered the base yet so I'm kind of just making making up for it using whatever I have so now taking that mint green color I'm going to put that at the end of that um, cut crease and that's where the cut crease concealer and the blue meets so I'm gonna put the green there so it can be a nice transition and then I'm also going to go back with that blue on the very outer edge to blend in the blue with that mint green, if that makes sense. But yeah, you can see me doing that here. And I'm also blurring out those edges. Taking this icy pink color, I'm just going to put that all over the uh, space that I did cut out with the concealer, making sure to stay within those lines because it's not a cut crease if you go outside of the lines. So make sure you stay within your lines. I'm using a flat synthetic sort of brush to do this. And I'm just pulling that pink over on top of the green and then I'm gonna add some more green and blend the two shades, the pink and green together. For glitter today, this is the glitters that I'm using. I'm using Mermaid Scales Glitter in um, Pinky Rose, I think that's the color. I'll leave it down below and then I'm using another J Cat Beauty Glitter. So I'm mixing the two because I like to use chunky glitters with fine glitters as well. Um, I don't know, I think it just looks better. So I'm just applying it with my duo glue. So I'm just um, putting the glue down first, waiting till it gets a little bit clear. And then I'm gonna press that glitter mixture right on top with a small shadow brush. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm just gonna repeat these steps until that whole area is covered in glitter. So again, I'm gonna take that glue, and I really like this glue because of the applicator, the brush applicator, so I don't have to go and ruin another makeup brush. I can just strictly use this glue brush and um, apply the glue and then press the glitter on top. So just repeat those steps. Take your time while you're doing this because you don't want it to be um, a mess and just chunky and ugly. So take your time. So yeah, I'm finished with that step. So I apply my liner and lashes off camera. I also went in with some gel liner in the lower lash line. That's the Inglot 77 black gel liner. So I put on some luminizing drops and now I'm gonna go in with this foundation and it's extremely full coverage. It's my first time using it. And it's a little bit on the red side, a red tone to it. So I'm adding my Fawn Concealer by LA Girl and mixing that up together to um, get a little bit more of a yellow tone foundation and applying that over all over my face with a concealer brush and whoa the coverage is crazy like the coverage of this drugstore foundation by Maybelline is 
crazy I've never used a drugstore foundation with this type of coverage honey this coverage was wow the coverage is wow it looks extremely flawless in pictures so um yeah I'm putting that all over my skin I really do wish they make more shades of this because I this is my third time trying um, the Maybelline full coverage super stay foundation and that's because the other two shades I previously bought were too orange for me so I finally found one that's closer to my skin tone but it's still kind of orange which is why I had to mix it so hopefully they'll make more shades of this and um, I will be sure to pick up a even better matching shade so I did highlight on um, my face right now I'm just going under the eyes with that same concealer mixture the fawn and the medium beige and I'm just blending everything out with my shop miss a one dollar sponge I do have a video on this these sponges so if you want to check that out be sure to do so it's just a couple videos back on my channel so now that everything is blended I'm just gonna go back in with my Sasha translucent powder this is one of my favorite translucent powders um, I really like this one if you don't have this you can also use the Cody airspun Ben 9 neutral set Laura Mercier um, you can use other translucent powders so I like to set with the translucent powder first dust that away and then I like to go on top of that with more of a yellow tone powder so I use my Sasha buttercup powder right on top and I just repeat the same steps as I did with the translucent powder so here I am going with the buttercup powder and um, pressing that right on top of the same areas and this is just gonna bring back more of that yellow tint that I have to my skin so I'm pressing that wherever I need it to go and um, on top of the lip the chin the center of the nose in the middle of the forehead and this is just gonna go everywhere that I pretty much put the concealer before and while I'm letting that sit I'm just going to do some reverse contouring because I'm not doing cream contour today so I'm just doing some reverse contouring because that will just help my um, contouring powder pop even more without using a cream so to set my whole face I'm going in with my max skin finish this is in the shade dark I believe and I'm just setting my whole face and then dusting away that um, buttercup powder at the same time and this step will just help prevent any flashback or anything I don't get flashback when I do this method so try it out you might really like it and now I'm just going in to bronze my face and I'm using this Mac blush so I'm using this blush and it acts like a bronzer because of the tone of it for me so I'm putting that in my cheeks around the perimeter of my forehead also in my jawline so just to add some warmth back to the skin I used to use the covergirl ebony bronzer but I find that that's a little bit too red for me so I really like this because it has more of a neutral um, undertone it does give you a little bit of rosiness but not like how the covergirl ebony bronzer does on my skin tone so I really like that this powder now I'm gonna go in with my black radiance powder and ebony and basically repeat those steps and this is just to further deepen up and create more of a shadow more of a contour to my face so I'm repeating those exact same steps and now I'm just gonna clean up the contour with um, that Sasha buttercup powder just running that along the bottom side of my contour this is really gonna sharpen it up and make it really pretty really is gonna give me that illusion of cheekbones even though I don't have much of those so right now I'm just gonna add some shadow to my nose I like to do this because it just it just makes the nose look super cute especially when you highlight the nose area it looks really cute so I'm gonna do that and now moving on to blush I'm adding this really pretty blush by NYX it's the ombre blush and I'm putting that also in my chin on the top of my nose and in my forehead because I find when you put the blush in these areas it just gives you an overall uniform look like an overall uniform tone so I'm trying out this new highlighter by Maybelline I think it's it's um the peachy one or whatever I'll leave it down below in the description bar and I'm putting that in all the areas where I usually highlight and oh my god it's so pretty I literally die like super pretty for a drugstore highlighter super super cute so I'm putting that on and I'm putting that in all the areas that I usually highlight 
and this is pretty much my standard routine if you want to see a more in-depth tutorial of my foundation routine you can also click back i do have a video on that on my channel moving on to lips i'm gonna line my lips with the mac chestnut lip liner so i'm lining the lips and i'm also gonna fill it in slightly with this brown lip liner i love this lip liner i lost it but i found it again and i was so happy i found it again because this liner is not cheap but it's my favorite brown lip liner. If you don't have this lip liner, you can use any brown lip liner that you have and just fill in those lips. Now I'm gonna use this MAC lipstick. It's called Candy Yum Yum. I haven't pulled this lipstick out in years. In years, literally. Who remembers when MAC Candy Yum Yum came out and it was popping and everybody was wearing it? Love this. And I'm pulling that out, filling in my lip with that. But I, since I don't want this pink to be so um, dark, I'm gonna lighten it up with MAC Snob. And this is also another favorite, um, one of the other popular pink lipsticks that MAC sells. So I'm just putting that in the center mainly, and I'm just going to blend it in by pressing the lips together. Mm -hmm. I like this combination. I don't know where I came up with it. So now I'm gonna take MAC Lip Gloss and Get Rich Quick, and I'm just gonna apply this all over top of the lips to complete the lip combination. And after this, you guys will have the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.